Maryland police agencies are warning about criminals sending death threats through texts trying to scare you into sending them money. We first told you about the scheme here last night. Now we have more on how some scammers are taking their threats beyond just text messages. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at police headquarters and Mike, what have you found out? Uh, Marcus, it's another warning to be careful about what you post online. It's not just scammers sending death threats seemingly at random. There's also been a rash of what are called virtual kidnappings in our area. Scammers will do anything for money. It's a lesson Wendy Mueller learned when she picked up her phone several months ago. And he said, we have your daughter. If you do everything, you'll see your daughter again if you do everything we tell you to do. The man at the other end of the line demanded she withdraw money, claiming he'd kill her daughter if she didn't. In a panic, she wired him several thousand dollars before making contact with her daughter. I quick texted my daughter. I said, are you okay? And her response was, yeah, why? <sighs> These virtual kidnappings have targeted parents of college students in Frostburg, College Park, and Frederick. Criminals look for people in wealthy zip codes, finding their names, then seeing what they post publicly on Facebook to concoct a believable story to extort money. Here's one message. You think this is a f***ing joke? Because I can bring your brother right now and we can f***ing him under this. Police say if you're a victim of one of these scams, you should always contact them first. Recently, scammers have been sending death threats to people through texts, wanting you to open an email link. Patty Hiddle told WJZ <laughs> um, she didn't fall for it. I, I kind of knew automatically it was a scam. It still makes you a little bit uneasy. Authorities worry clicking on the link could allow criminals access to your phone. Extortion scams like these have been around forever. Criminals are now just using modern technology. I yelled into the phone. I said, don't release that money. This is a scam. And I hung up the phone. And police say if it sounds fishy, it probably is. Don't be alarmed and panic and contact them. Marcus? It'll be a scary situation. Thanks, Mike. And the FBI has gotten involved in the virtual kidnapping investigations. In Wendy Mueller's case, the scammers were out of Mexico.